you know, we were uh, seeing increasing inequities, uh, the haves and have-nots has been uh, over, you can go back as far as you would like, but it's always been an increasing disparity. Now, this uh, pandemic, do you see that in equity accelerating? Or how do you see it panning out? Inequities are there. They were always there. And uh, I think I don't see it coming down in a hurry. And uh, 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 I mean, just to put things into perspective, let me tell you what the structure of the Bangladesh labor market is like. You know, we have a total labor market of around 60 to 63 million people. Now, out of these 62, 63 million people, we have about 25 million people working in agriculture, 13 million people in industry, and we have about 24 million people in services. Now, if we look at it in another way, we have, if we, if we, if we divide the labor market into uh, the formal sector and informal sector, we'll see that we have only 10 million people working in the formal sector and we have about 52 million people in the informal sector. That is huge. That's something like 85% of the total labor market in the informal sector who actually do not have the coverage of labor laws. They have little or no uh, social uh, safety net. Now, what this pandemic has uh, told many people who have been thinking about labor issues is my god look at the situation today in, in the entire world see in europe in europe they have or probably in all the countries of europe they have a very good social security system the us has a little but not as good as Europe. And the developing countries probably have nothing. We don't have any. What, what we have is very little and insignificant.